O come, O come, Emmanuel. That's the words that go with that song. We heard it at the very beginning. The bells played that tune. We hear it again here in the middle. We heard it last week with the song, Emmanuel, our God is with us. I feel like, I feel like the Lord wants to say something to us this Christmas. And it's summed up in the word, Emmanuel. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Have you felt captive this year? Maybe in a way you've not felt it before. You were captive in your house for a while. You were captive from going to your, audi- for, to your office for a while. You were, you were captive from your classes. You wear that thing around on your face. That actually is not all bad for ex- introverts. We've been able to uh, bravely go places we never went before because nobody knows it's us. See? But for the rest of you, we've been captive. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. This would have been the Sabbath for the big Christmas extravaganza. We've done pretty good, given, considering. We have a choir back. We've got that back together. We've got a bell choir going. We've got the brass here today. The organ's going. We've had piano. Pretty good. But you're also remembering, you're also remembering the days, right, when, when every seat was full and the balcony as well and there were people everywhere and we're captive. Oh, maybe, maybe that's a little bit overstated. In the context of the history of the world, I think the, the suffering we've known is pretty minor compared to what so many peoples and so many generations have gone through. But it's been different, for sure. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here. It's been an event that's taken place this week that has brought mourning to my heart. It's a situation related to someone close to our family, but, but you have your situations as well. You, you know what loss this year has brought you. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appears. Emmanuel means God with us. It means the undoing of the captivity. It means the recovery of sight for the blind, the the ability for the deaf to hear, the the voiceless to speak, the lame to walk. Those who have fallen asleep would be restored. This is what Emmanuel means, God with us. The song says, rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. I've always been fascinated and, and, and just touched at such a deep level, by the way. The rejoice comes in, but the, but the tune is still minor. It's that faith, it's that hope, it's that longing, it's that believing that the day will come John chapter 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. We're talking about Emmanuel. We're talking about God with us, but, but here, 
It says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life. And that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. But, but we needed God with us. You see, God wanted to be with us in the beginning. He was with us in the beginning. But mistakes were made. And separation came. And no longer was God able to be with us. And so began the captivity of Israel. So began the sorrow. So began the pain. So began the darkness. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning the light so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent nor of human decision, or of a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh. Emmanuel. The same Word that in the beginning was with God, that in the beginning was God, the Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. Emmanuel. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Now, we didn't welcome him like we should have. I guess on the one hand, it's a mercy we weren't there, because I'm not sure we would have done any better. But we have the blessing of the knowledge of the reality of the life of Jesus and what he's done and how he went to the cross for us and entered the grave. But death could not hold him, for in him was life, and that life was the light of man. Darkness came, but he was a bright light and banish the darkness. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him. Are you ready to receive Emmanuel? But to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Apparently that didn't happen all the time for shepherds. So that happened very often for you? Angel of the Lord appeared? Yeah, not me neither. But this was a special night. And the angels knew there was a message. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Who needs some good news? A little tired of the bad news? Gotten a little too much bad news lately? Well, here's some good news. How about joy? Need some joy in your heart? 
Well, this is the kind of news you're looking for. It says, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared in the, with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. His favor rests on everyone who will receive Emmanuel, on everyone who is ready to receive the light, the Word made flesh, the Son of God born into the world and born into your heart. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord had told us about. And so they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph, who were very surprised to see a whole bunch of shepherds coming in, I don't doubt. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. You see, they received the good news that God is now with us. And they took that good news and they spread it everywhere. They just go. Tell it on the mountain, over the hills, and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. 